Good afternoon to all my YouTube viewers. In this video, I like to discuss about NEET 2019 question paper. Uh, the purpose of this video to solve problems on fast track basis and uh, just we have to know the application of formulas so that we can speed up um, the process uh, to cope up with the uh, given time. Let us start today's job. <clears throat> For P-type semiconductor, which of the following statement is true? Holes are the majority carrier and trivalent atoms are the dopant. Holes are the majority carrier and pentavalent atoms are the dopant. Uh, electrons are the majority carrier. Electrons, uh, uh, number C and D is not at all possible because whole set has to be do, uh, majority carrier. Uh, uh, in choice one, it is found that uh, uh, trivalent atoms are used and uh, holes are the majority carrier. This is possible uh, be because uh, parent metal is uh, tetravalent and when it will form covalent bond, uh, um, one uh, uh, um, deficiency of electron will create holes. So A will be the correct choice. Pentavalent atom uh, is required to produce N-type semiconductor, not P-type. This is P-type. Let us come to next job. A body weighs 200 Newton on the surface of the earth. How much will it weigh? halfway down to the center of the earth. As we know that small g from center to surface of the earth is directly proportional to distance from the center. Small g is proportional to x uh, inside the earth up to radius uh, from the graph also you can see it is a straight line then it will come down 1 by x square will be the pattern. Now here it is inside the earth surface uh, R by 2, so it's G also acceleration due to gravity also half of it. So weight on our surface is 200 Newton, so inside the Earth's uh, at a distance R by 2 from the surface of the Earth will be uh, uh, just 50 percent, I mean G by 2 will be the acceleration, so weight will be 100 Newton. Now next job, job number 3, we can see in which of the following case processes heat is neither absorbed nor released by a system and uh, that is uh, adiabatic isobaric isochoric isothermal now adiabatic process uh, is such a process that it uh, won't allow any heat flow from inside to outside or outside to inside so uh, this will be the um, most suited answer for this particular <clears throat> now come to number four You can see <clears throat> on circuit diagram, six similar bulbs are connected as shown in the figure. This is source of EMAP and zero internal resistance. The ratio of power consumed by the bulb, one, all are glowing, and number two, in the situation when two from section A and one from section B are, are glowing. And it is a simple job. The, you can see uh, six resistances, uh, three resistances are in s parallel, so it will be R by 3, and on uh, right side three resistances will be R by 3. Then therefore total resistance will be, you can see, 2R by 6. This will be the total resistance when they will be connected. Now, <coughs> um, uh, for, um, for second condition, that to, uh, uh, from A, A section, uh, uh, only uh, two bulb will be glowing and from B section it will be one. So two uh, resistance will be here R by two and uh, here one in the B section. So total resistance uh, will be R by two plus R that means three R by two. So uh, this resistance will be three R by two and initially it was two R by three. Now power uh, is uh, V square by R equivalent. Uh, 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 now you can see for power 1 it will be V square by R equivalent and for power 2 it will be V square by R dash equivalent. So R dash equivalent by R equivalent. Second condition uh, R dash equivalent that is 3 R by 2 and first condition 2 R by 3. So this equal will be there. Now it will give 9 by 4. 9 is to 4 will be the answer for particular job. 
<clears throat> now job number five. A small hole of area of cross section 2 mm square is present near the bottom of a fully filled open tank of height 2 meter. Use Bernoulli's theorem. Uh, by using Bernoulli's theorem, we can get this velocity uh, h rho g plus p atmosphere plus half rho top, top position velocity is 0 so square, uh, uh, half rho 0 square equal to. Uh, at the bottom, uh, it will be at, uh, exposed to atmosphere P atmosphere plus half rho V square plus as, uh, potential energy 0. So, from here, we can find out V equal to root of the twice G H. H is give, given, so 2 root 10 meter per second will be there. Then, volume flow, we know that A1 V1. Area, lower part area is 2 into 10 to minus 6 into this velocity 2 into root under 10 will give. 12.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter cube per second. Here answer will be D. Now come to next job uh, 6. A force which is given 20 plus 10 y acts on the particle in y direction where f is in newton y in meter work done for the process. We know f work done equal to f dot ds. f dot ds will come. Now from integration, with the help of integration we can find out uh, f dy and that will give us uh, 0 to 1 limit that will give us uh, 20 within bracket 1 minus 0 plus 5 into 1 square minus 0 square that will give you 25 joules. Job number 7, two point charges A and B have charges plus Q and minus Q respectively are placed at certain distance apart and the force acting between them is F, that is the initial position. And now 25 percent charge A is transferred to B, then force between the charges becomes uh, 25 percent positive charge given to negative charge. So what will happen? It will neutralize 25 percent of uh, B charge and uh, here it will reduce 25 percent. That means uh, charge for A will remain uh, Q by 75 percent. Uh, that means 3 fourth Q and charge for the B will uh, after neutralizing it is minus 3 by 4 Q. So force between the present situation second condition it will be product of these two charges into distance square this will give us uh, F dash by F will be 9 is to 16 because initial charges are Q and minus Q force is known dividing this to F and F dash we will get 9 by 16. Job uh, answer is A. Now job number 8. When an object is shot from the bottom of a long smooth inclined plane kept at an angle 60 degree with the horizontal, it can travel a distance x1 along the plane. But when the incline is decreased to 30 degree and the same object is shot and this velocity, so with same velocity it can travel a distance x2. x1 is to x2. Uh, we know that mm, we can use uh, x final velocity will be 0, 0 square equal to u square minus twice g sin theta 1 into x1 uh, when angle is theta 1. x1 will be u square by twice g theta 1. Similarly, x2 will be in, in the same fashion u square by twice g th sin theta 2. Dividing x1 by x2, it will be sin theta 2 by sin theta 1. That will be sin 30 by sin 60. It will give 1 is to 30 degree. Now come to next job. Pick the wrong answer in the context with rainbow, the order of color is reversed in the secondary rainbow. Number B, an observer can see a rainbow when his front is towards the sun. It is wrong. Uh, um, that uh, for secondary, uh, for rainbow, uh, that observer uh, should be uh, observer's front uh, should be uh, against the sun, I mean just opposite to the direction of sun. Rainbow is combined effect of dispersion, ref refraction and reflection. Yes, it is true. When the sunlight undergoes two inter 
uh, internal deflection in a water drop, a secondary rainbow is formed. That is also true. Uh, B is wrong for this particular job. Now come to the average velocity of a particle executing SHM in one complete vibration is average velocity, it will be zero. Let us start from mean position. If it is started from mean position, uh, the, then again it will return to mean position. Displacement will become zero. Uh, that means the displacement is zero divided by time taken will be capital T will give you uh, zero average velocity. Suppose extreme position you have taken initially, then again it will back to extreme position after time capital T, so displacement, uh, um, uh, again displacement becomes zero. Zero by T will give the zero uh, average velocity. Now come to <coughs> job number 11. Now here the total in, uh, in total energy of an electron at, uh, in, in an atom of an orbit is minus 3.4 electron volt its kinetic energy and potential energy are respectively. We know <coughs> kinetic energy plus potential energy will be the total energy. And uh, we know that potential energy, most important part, potential energy is minus twice the kinetic energy. Minus twice the kinetic energy kinetic. Now substitute here. Uh, this will give you minus twice kinetic energy plus kinetic energy, total energy. That will give minus kinetic energy. Now total energy is minus 3.4 electron volt. That will be minus E kinetic. Minus minus get cancelled, E kinetic will become 3.4 electron volt. Now um, if you want to find out potential energy, then you have to use energy potential equal to minus 2 kinetic, double of it. Now this will become the uh, potential energy, that is minus 2 into 3.4 into 10, and 10 3.4 electron volt, that is minus 6.8 electron volt. You see it is here, uh, 3.4 kinetic energy B and minus 6.8 electron volt will be the potential energy. So B will be the answer for this. Now come to job number 12. At a point A on the earth's surface, the angle of dip uh, delta equal to plus 25. At a point B on the surface, angle of dip is minus 25. It means plus 25 means when it is placed above equator uh, towards North Pole, then it will be plus 25. Now when it will be uh, below equator, it will be minus 25. Now which answer is correct here? Mm, you can see a is located in the southern, no, A is not located in southern, northern. A is located in northern hemisphere. Uh, here A and B both are southern, not possible, northern, not possible. B is the answer here. A is in, uh, north, northern uh, hemisphere and B is located in the southern hemisphere. Now come to next job, 13. In, in which of the device the eddy current effect is not used? Uh, magnetic break, breaking in train, magnetic breaking in train, electromagnet, electric heater, electric heater is best, uh, it uh, operates on the best, based on joule setting. Electric heater functions on joule setting, not on eddy current effect. Changing magnetic flux to a bulk conductor induces EMF produce, which also is a eddy current effect. Now have both heating and magnetic effect. For eddy current, both heating and magnetic effect both act is present. Now here in the electric heater functions on joule sitting only. So it, it not depends on uh, eddy current. So th this will be the answer for this. Now two particles A and B are moving in uniform circular motion in concentric circles of radius Ra and Rb with speed Va and Vb respectively. The time period of rotation uh, is the same. The ratio 
the ratio of angular speed of a to b time period is same most important but time period is same omega a equal to 2 pi by t that is uh, angular frequency i mean angular speed you can say omega a equal to 2 pi by t similarly omega b also 2 pi by t because t is common for both so this one by this one omega a by omega b will be 1 is to 1 simple job now come to job number 15 Two similar thin equic convex lengths of focal length A each are kept coaxially in contact with each other uh, such that that focal length of the combination is F1 and, 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 and the, when the space between the two lengths is filled with glycerin which has same refractive index which has the same refractive index mu equal to 1.5 which has same refractive index, I mean glass made uh, uh, as that of glass, it is given here. Then the equivalent focal length is F2, the find F1, capital F1 by capital F2. For this particular job, when two lenses are in contact, the focal length say F1 and F2, and both are equal, so it will give, uh, as uh, F1 equal to F2, you can write, uh, 1 by F1 equal to mu minus 1 into 2 by R for equi convex lens and uh, put 1.5 here you will get 1 by R that means equivalent focal length for 1 by V capital F1 will be 2 by F I mean it will be 2 by R now when uh, intermediate uh, is filled with the glycerin having same refractive index uh, now what will happen to that? Now uh, uh, for uh, one by uh, one by f1 plus one by f2 plus one by f3, the glycerin lens is one by f3, and uh, that will give uh, uh, as r1 is uh, negative for this particular case because it is equiconcave. So r1 is negative, r2 is positive. So ultimately it will give a minus value. I mean it will give. Uh, minus 1 by r and uh, 1 by f1 and 1 by f2 is 1 by r plus 1 by r so ultimately 1 by uh, f2 will be 1 by r plus 1 by r minus 1 by r this two will cancel 1 by r will be there now 1 by f1 is 2 by kappa r and one, uh, f2 is 1 by capital r so ratio of these two 2 is to 1 will come this is a simple job now answer A is correct here. Now next job, the electron is accelerated through a potential difference of 10,000 volt. Uh, its de Broglie's wavelength is nearly, we have to find out de Broglie's wavelength for this particular. Now we know this standard formulas are available. Now <coughs> de Broglie's wavelength for electron it is 12.27 in root under V. Angstrom. If it is proton, 0 0.286 root under V angstrom. Deuteron, 0 0.202 root under V angstrom. For alpha particle, root 0 0.101 root under V. Uh, we have to find out this one. 12.27 divided by root under V. V is given 10,000. 10,000 volt. So, it will be. It is standard form, uh, 10,000 volt, 12.27 root under 10,000 volt, it will give 12.27, 10 to the minus 12 meter. That will be the answer. Now next job. A circuit diagram is given, logical circuit. Now here you can see, one supply is here, 6 volt, two resistances are present. When both are open, current can flow to ground, straight. Uh, 6 divided by twice R will be the current. There is a bulb, this bulb will glow. 
once current starts moving when both are open then this will happen suppose this is close close means one open means zero when that means uh, when it is one uh, even then same current will flow no stoppage because current cannot pass through this circuit why it is not close this is open now say this one close this is open this one close means one this is open means zero one zero in that case again same thing this bulb will glow but no current will flow through this now both is closed means both is one that means current will pass through this it bulb won't glow that means zero we can get a truth table like this very simple zero zero one will be there both are open you will get current bulb will glow zero one bulb will glow one zero bulb will glow one one current will pass through this bulb cannot glow so this is a nand gate output so uh, the choice which is to be selected here nand gate nand gate means uh, zero 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 uh, zero zero one zero one one uh, one zero one and one one zero that is nand gate standard form a soap bubble having radius one millimeter is blown from an uh, detergent solution having a surface tension of 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 newton per meter the pressure inside the bubble equals at a point z not below the free surface of water in con container taking g equal to 10 uh, density of water 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube the value of z to be calculated now <clears throat> we can solve this problem uh, by taking we know that uh, excess pressure inside the soap bubble is 40 by radius and uh, say this is atmospheric pressure the total pressure on the bubble will be uh, when it, uh, it is uh, um, inside pressure of the bubble will be 40 uh, plus uh, uh, 40 by r plus p naught and uh, Due to uh, total pressure inside the bubble, what is the question? Uh, below the the pressure inside the bubble equals at the point uh, Z not below the surface of water. Uh, below surface of water, it will be atmospheric pressure plus uh, pressure due to water height. That is P uh, dash T. Uh, that means it will be. Uh, the pressure due to atmosphere plus uh, h rho g that means z rho g in this case these two will be equal uh, from here p not p not cancels atmospheric pressure z will be 40 over rho g uh, r rho g will come because you can see rho g from here and r is already here so z will be 40 by rho r rho g substitute all data we will get 10 to the power minus 2 meter, I mean 1 centimeter below the water surface. That is the point. Next question is, there is a SHM. <coughs> the displacement of a particle executing simple harmonic motion by y equal to a naught plus a sin omega t plus b cos omega t. Then the amplitude of its oscillation is given by four choices you have to see now differentiate twice you will see you will get an expression like this uh, you will get uh, omega square uh, y minus a naught will come uh, differentiate twice you will see that uh, you can get this expression and what it means multiplied by o minus omega square you will see omega square y plus omega square a naught this means uh, when acceleration acceleration is zero where at mean position say at mean position its acceleration is zero in that case we will see uh, y will become a naught that means uh, the position of the mean position i mean mean position location is y equal to a naught that is the initial mean position exactly located at a naught position 
that we have to understand that means from here shm is taking place that means these two a sin omega t plus b omega t will take part in the shm so from here uh, they are having phase difference pi by 2 so we can take a uh, resultant amplitude that is root under a square plus b square plus twice a b cos angle between the uh, two phases i mean uh, phase difference is here uh, theta um, uh, that is pi by 2 i mean it will give uh, this will become um, uh, zero and root under a square plus b square will be the amplitude of this s is one now come to here answer will be a now work done uh, job number 20 the work done uh, to raise a mass small m from the surface of the earth to a height small h which is equal to the radius of the earth is that means potential energy on earth surface we know minus g m m by r capital r uh, when you will bring it to um, some other height uh, say <coughs> uh, r plus h then potential energy will be minus g m m by r plus h and on earth surface this is the energy then final minus initial you will get this one plus and uh, simplify here you will get uh, this type of expression uh, this will give you uh, here actually this is small h equal to r so substitute r here you will get uh, 1 by bigger minus 1 by twice bigger so solving here you will get mg r by 2 mg bigger by 2 but uh, this is given in the question now here you can see uh, this b will be the answer for this now come to next job the speed of a swimmer in still water is 20 meter per second the speed of river water is 10 meter per second is flowing due east it is going towards east uh, and he stands uh, on the south bank and wishes to cross the river along the shortest path shortest path means per perpendicular distance the angle which uh, the, that means uh, he he has to go with this certain angle with this shortest distance say theta then uh, this cos theta will participate for this this shortest distance path and sine component will uh, take care of this um, uh, river current river water current so this will balance uh, v u sine theta will balance this value i mean v river current v is now 10 meter per second and uh, that swimmer is uh, 20 meter per second so ratio will give half i mean theta will be 30 degree cheapest job now come to next job here answer will be d 30 degree west he has to dive uh, in the west now come to next job that is 22 two parallel infinite line charges with linear charge density plus lambda and minus lambda cent coulomb per meter placed at a distance twice r in free space what is the electric field between the two line charges we know for infinite where uh, at a distance small bigger uh, uh, electric field will be lambda by 2 pi r that is known to us lambda by 2 pi r this is the standard form lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r sorry lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r and for this one uh, for negative plate it will play in the same direction e1 and e2 both will act in the same direction so lambda by 2 pi epsilon naught r sum of these two lambda by F pi epsilon naught r will come uh, newton per coulomb now you see answer will be uh, this one b will be the answer now next job 20 uh, which of the following acts as a circuit protection device of course uh, fuse fuse protect the entire circuit uh, down the line uh, that uh, whatever equipments are there so once uh, 
uh, fuse is uh, given for this particular purpose, so it is a protection device. Next job, 24. A parallel belt capacitor capacitance 20 microfarad is being charged to a voltage source whose potential is changing from 3 volt per second. At the rate 3 volt per second, this is the ch changing. The conduction current through the connecting wire and the displacement current through the plates of the capacitor would be respectively. Uh, we have to see um, here displacement current. Uh, how to get it? Now you can see uh, uh, ID means phi, uh, epsilon not d phi by dt. Phi means electric field into area vector. Now here uh, E and area vector uh, we can replace by area is a constant you bring it outside then d by dt and e means um, um, uh, that is v uh, e, e can be replaced by v by d e can be replaced by b by d uh, d by dt we can substitute from here d by dt we can substitute here it will give c dv by dt change in potential with respect to time and that is given here and c is given 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 into uh, this rate is given uh, d uh, phi v by dt uh, this is for uh, capacitance 20 microfarad into dv by dt that is given so it will give us 60 micro ampere now for this uh, a will be the answer for this. A, because uh, this uh, this current uh, displacement current will be conduction current during the charging process. Now, job number twenty-five. When a block of mass big M is suspended by a long wire of length big L. The length of the wire becomes L plus big L plus small L. The elastic potential energy stored in the extended wire is. <coughs> we know that uh, potential energy stored, elastic potential energy stored will be uh, F dot half force into displacement because we know it will be straight line uh, if we draw. Uh, force versus elongation, it will st start from origin, y equal to mx type plot. So, work done will be under this plot, that is half force into elongation. Here, half force is how much? Force equal to mg uh, and uh, uh, elongation is L, that is given here. So, uh, uh, answer will be half mg L will be the answer for particular Potential energy is stored, half, uh, this one, half mg into small l will be the answer. This is big L. Here is a small l. Now come to next job, 26. A hollow metal sphere of radius bigger is uniformly charged. Hollow metal sphere bigger is uniformly charged. The electric field due to the sphere at a distance smaller from R is greater than R, it is outside the sphere, so it will be a 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught R square, smaller square, uh, smaller is greater than R, so electric field will be accordingly. Now, uh, 0 uh, as B, as smaller increases for R less than R, increases R increases uh, 0. Yes, uh, here, Teach uh, zero as R increases for R less than bigger. Uh, R uh, inside this uh, it will be zero. Inside this it will be zero. Outside is not zero. A is not correct. This is B is correct here. In uh, inside, uh, if you take uh, Gauss uh, use Gauss theorem, you will see there will be no charge involved. So, here electric field will be zero as the charge will reside on the outermost surface of the. Decrease as R increases, decreases.
increase as are increases below no that is not possible b is answer here increases uh, r is less than smaller r is less than bigger is always zero b is the answer now come to 27 small mass a mass small m is attached to a thin wire and hold in a vertical circle the wire will is horizontal the wire is most likely to break maximum tension will develop when mass is, um, mass is at the lowest point b will be the answer for this we know that tension here is mg plus m v1 square by r this pseudo force will be also participate with this that means mg plus m v1 square will be the tension at this lowest position so where the maximum tension will experience by the wire that is lowest position so that is the possibility that it can break here now which of the following color of the light has the longest wavelength that is known to everybody that is red now particle moving with the velocity v acted by three forces shown in the uh, vector triangle p q r the velocity of the particle will you can see here in this question what is the question uh, this is the diagram given here now in this triangle we can see Uh, from p to q is the direction of force then q to r is the direction then r to p is the uh, resultant coming back to here that means the resultant force on the particle is zero so particle whatever velocity it has it will maintain its same velocity that means remain constant b will be the answer for this resultant force on the particle is zero so there is no question to change its velocity so it will remain same now next job 20 30 resultant force zero you can see that velocity remain constant now 30 what is that uh ionized hydrogen atoms and alpha particles have same momenta enters perpendicular to a constant magnetic field b and we have to see uh we know that r equal to mv by qb linear momentum divided by charge into magnetic field when charge enters perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field now from here uh, it is understood r is uh when mv is constant m and b momentum is constant b also constant in that case charge is inversely proportional uh, radius of the circular track proportional to 1 by q here q for hydrogen is plus e and q for alpha particle is twice e so uh, we can get a ratio of this to uh, radius of hydrogen uh, atom and radius of uh, helium atom will be 2 is to 1 that is the answer Now it will be here. Ratio of the paths will be two is one. D will be the answer. Now the unit of thermal conductivity is. We have to see which one. We know the <coughs> basic definition of heat flow. Um, um, heat flow that is dQ by dt k a temperature difference by L. From here k we can write down rate uh, L by a delta t q. Q is power in watts and L is meter. This is meter square. and this is uh, kelvin so watt per meter per kelvin will be the unit for thermal conductivity watt per meter this one c is the answer c is the answer for this 32 now job number 32 what is that a coil 800 tons effective area 0.05 meter square is kept perpendicular to a magnetic field 5 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla 10 to the power minus 5 tesla hmm, minus 5 tesla 
and when the plane of the coil is rotated 90 degree around any of its scope planar axis in 0.1 second the emf induced in the coil will be it is uh, we know that uh, phi equal to n b dot a that is known to us flux that means n b a cos theta will come dot product is here so cos theta will come now here it is found that n is constant b is constant a is constant only theta is variable for this because it is it will move from 0 to 90 degree and uh, the duration is delta t so we can write d phi by dt ma equal to minus uh, n b a delta t within bracket cos theta to minus cos theta 1 because number of turns b a all these variables generally one of them becomes variable you have four variables are here one two three and theta theta varies here only so th this will be cos uh, 90 degree minus cos 0 degree this will come from here we will get emf equal to 0 0.02 volt all data are available 0 0.02 volt point 0 0.02 this one c is answer <coughs> now next job that is a disc of radius 2 meter and mass 100 kg rolls on a Horizontal floor, its center of mass has speed 20 centimeter per second. How much work is needed to stop it? I mean, a retard retarding torque has to be given for this. And a disc of radius this much, and uh, uh, Radius this much, mass is 100 kg, rolls on the velocity is given. The center of mass of the 20 meter per 20 centimeter per second. How much? Uh, that means work done equal to change in kinetic energy. Uh, for this, uh, we know that uh, uh, kinetic energy, uh, initial kinetic energy is known here. That is uh, total kinetic energy, translational plus rotational. That will be half m. You can see in this way half mv square within bracket 1 plus k square by r r square k square by r square k is radius of gyration and we know k square by r square for disc it is disc so it is uh, 3 by 2 will come here i mean 1 plus half mv square mv square uh, half mv square within bracket 1 plus k square by r square k square by r square is half so solving here 3 by 4 mv square will come substitute velocity here mass will get 3 joules will come this is a simple job and final kinetic energy will be zero so change will be only 3 joules now see this formula this is a we have to uh, error calculation we have to do from this expression x equal to a to the power 2 b to the power half c to the power one third d to the power three now take a log of this one now take log on both the sides you will get this type of expression log x equal to this one. Now you know that differentiate this one, so you will get delta x by x, 2 times uh, delta a by a plus delta b by twice b, and this way minus delta c by twice c, three, thrice c and thrice delta d by d. And uh, once we are going interested about uh, percentage of errors, so all will become plus, whether minus or plus, all will be plus for error. So substitute all plus and percentage form. Now this uh, delta A by A is given 1%, delta B by B given 2%, delta C by C given 3%, delta D by D, all percentage given. Substitute here, you will get answer will be 16%. Total error of this, uh, this expression will be seen. Now all these data are provided here. You can see 1, 2%, 2%, 3%, 4% uh, given. 16% will be the answer for this. Now come to next job. What is that? A 
body uh, mass for m and moving with the speed u collides with another body b of mass twice small m at rest it is rest now the collision is head on and elastic in nature after the collision the fraction of energy lost by the colliding body a that means initial velocity of this body uh, we can uh, is given u and uh, we have to see after collision what is the velocity then you have to see what is the uh, change in kinetic energy that will be the loss of kinetic energy let us see uh, how to do this job you have to do very fast is it now you know uh, collision formulas when elastic collision formulas are available v1 is m1 minus m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into u1 plus twice m2 u2 m1 plus m2 now u2 is rest initially uh second mass was raised so this part will be zero only this part will be there 4m minus twice m divided by 6m so this will give you u by 3 that means after collision this velocity is u by 3 now before collision it was u now what is the change in kinetic energy half m mass was to mass is 4m into u square this will be the initial kinetic energy what will be the kinetic energy finally can final kinetic energy half m is same 4m into u will be u by 3 u square by 9 so subtract this you will get the relation that means uh, delta change in kinetic energy with respect to initial kinetic energy you will get 8 by 9 a simple job now come to this one the radius of circle of the period of revolution initial position and uh, sense of revolution are indicated in the alongside figure why projection of the radius vector of rotating particle p is there are four equations we have to see now you can see from here this diagram uh, this is a starting point and somewhere on this here you can take a point after time t now from here as it is starting from this uh, y maximum position it means uh, equation has to be cos because cos 0 star, starting say starts here at position this position means cos 0 Uh, will give maximum that means cos function will come uh, here all except first one rest all are cos okay uh, then one of the cos will be the answer now see uh, time period is given here or anything it is given uh, it is given t equal to 4 second given that means omega we can find out omega means 2 pi by capital t that will give pi by 2 you can see this solution you can take time period is given 2 pi by 4 that means pi by 2 will be there and a is 3 meter it is given that means your expression will be y equal to a cos omega t omega is pi by 2 and small t that means answer will be this one c will be the answer for this particular job 37 oh Time is running out. Thirty-seven. The total internal reflection when the angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle for the pair of media in contact. What will be the angle of refraction? Angle of refraction. Angle of incidence is thirty uh, uh, degree. It is given here. You can see critical angle. Which is given thirty degree, no? No critical angle. Okay, theta c is the critical angle. Then refracted angle is definitely ninety degree. That will be the answer. C will be the answer for this particular job. Next job: a solid cylinder of mass two kg and radius four centimeter is rotating about its axis. at the rate of 3 rpm the torque required to stop uh, after 2 pi revolution is 2 pi revolution i mean you have to find out theta angular displacement we have to find out torque 
Work done equal to tau d theta, we know that the change in kinetic energy, work done can be written, change in kinetic energy, final kinetic energy is zero, initial is minus, uh, minus initial kinetic energy. Omega is known, 3 rpm means 3 into 2 pi by 60, that means pi by 10 rat per second will come. Now from here we can find out the angular displacement, 2 pi frequency, 2 pi frequency here given to 2 pi, you can see here. Stop after 2 pi revolutions. 2 pi revolutions. That means uh, uh, that means uh, 2 pi into 2 pi. That means 4 pi square will be theta. Now from here we can find out uh, kinetic energy equal to how much? Kinetic energy divided by theta will come the torque. So kinetic energy is how much? Half i omega square. I is m r square by 2. Omega is pi by 10 whole square. From here we will get this expression 1 by 4 m r square by 100 into 1 by 4. Pi square pi square again. This pi square and this pi. Now <coughs> from here substitute data, I mean r and we will get 2 into 10 to the power minus 6 newton meter. 2 into 9, 10 to the power minus 6 meter. Now newton meter will be the answer. That answer will be 12, now 2 into 10 to the power minus 6, 2 into 10 to the power, D will be the answer for this particular job. Now next job, that is a block, a block.